Welcome back, GTI fans. This is Zelot here with another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. Uh, this is currently the GTI server that I'm playing on. Um, let's bring up my stats here. I've been level 25 for a bit. 224 kills. I haven't died yet. I haven't went into the tilde menu, I don't even think. Or did I? I think I might have once to become unstuck from... No, that wasn't on this... Nope, this wasn't this uh, this time around. Uh, I have not actually had to do anything in the tilt screen. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. Today, I'm thinking we should continue build, working on my castle because I desperately want to get a... Uh, uh, a repository set up for my own stuff instead of just my my uh, CV here. So I put together a bunch more blocks. I did some more digging. I'll show you. Let's go down and and show you what's going on. How's my food level here? Got lots of emergency rations. I think I actually had food I put in the. Got a few in there. Uh, we'll eat those. Come on. So, actually, you know what? I don't want to eat my emergency rations for no reason. I can easily just go like this, grab a crap ton. You can see I've got more food than I could possibly eat. Uh, yeah, I ain't starving anytime soon with that supply depot <laughs> that can make... Yeah, with my bad math, I can't believe... I, I, I was watching that video and, and I'm like, oh my god. I was yelling at myself saying, it's 90! 90, 90 cans! Can you not do simple math? Apparently I couldn't that night. Uh, and that's one of my strong suits, so yikes. So let's, uh, let's head down. Okay. Um, now last episode, we basically just threw up this wall. And I continued down in the bottom there, like I was saying, where I wanted to dig a tunnel out. And so this is what I've done. Oh, it's getting really dark here. Let's let's do some night vision. Um, I know the green, it's kind of unsettling to see on camera, but it's a lot better than being completely pitch black, <laughs> in my opinion. Once we get down in here, I'll throw my... It's going to be... It's gonna give some funky flair anyway, so... Oh, that's nice. Let's put my lights on. Oh. What the heck? Am I missing a... A headlight? Why's my headlights all screwed up? What? Okay, what's going on here? What's going on? I gotta take a look. Throw my shoulder light on. Okay, so we've got this one going out to there, yeah. And then we've got that one and that one. So those are the center ones. And then this one... Oh, is that the wrong one? Yeah, I don't think that's... I think that's a... Oh, I'm confused now. Is that a straight one? Is that what I wanted? I kind of like this one better, right? So what is this? What is this? It's a spotlight slope. And a spotlight slope. Let's try twisting it. Gotta go like like that, right? 
Yeah, there we go. Much better. There we go. I just had it facing the wrong direction. Okay. I like that better. It gives it a better, uh, a nice wide headlight open area. That's the great thing about that that HV is it's got a, a, a lot of good ground lighting for doing stuff like this. What I should do is put another light facing straight out here, eh? Hmm. We'll worry about that another day. So this is the cavern I've dug out. I've laid down the start of the groundwork here. What I want to do is, is potentially seal it in today. I don't think we'll get we'll have enough time to do that but I'll let's get busy here I've got a bunch of blocks made where are they here where did I put them in here yes so I've got a whole bunch of wood ones uh, it's producing concrete ones right now I've got a bunch on me uh, so we'll continue with the concrete for now I built a hangar door so we're gonna get this hangar door in right away so you know what the, the best thing for me to do is hang out right beside my door see that now I'm protected <laughs> see the temperature that's pretty cool and then I just come on come on oh are you gonna do this to me let's go this way there we go okay just take it. there we go uh, so I'm thinking the door is going to go somewhere, I want to dig too much more, so, yeah, let's, I'm going to widen that out more to there, okay, let's just, let's start the basement here. kind of started doing that anyway and I can dig it out more to the sides obviously um, or you know what no let's let's start it up here we'll do it in this square so now what size do I want I mean the bigger the better right what can we do what's the max 14 by 7 Oh, I can't even play it. Okay, so come on. So that is massive. 14 by 7. 7 high. 14 wide. 10 to a side. I will have to put up columns for support. What do you think? It's a little, it's a little outrageous and over the top, but that's what this is going to be. So let's do it. All right. We got a hangar door in. We got our hangar door. I think right now we can start blocking this in. Push that out as far as I can. Oh, what happened there? Oh, it laid one. Great. Let's try that again. So I'm going to need more there. Let's fill that in there. Put that as far down as it'll go. Lose my drone. Okay, let's just uh, let's move my vessel. Come on, get in. <laughs> Over jumping the. Lo oh, really? Okay. Here we go. Come on. Nope, can't do it. Let's try with jets on. There we go. Simple. Right tools for the right job. Okay. Let's just see if I can get this going here. Come on. Come 
on. You can do it. Come on. There. Oh, I had it. There we go. So I think my objective will be to get this sealed first and then I can worry about everything later. So let's get some blocks up here. Blocks over here. Get this dug out a bit here. So you can see how tedious, how much tedious work this could be. At least I dug out most of it with the HV. Um, it just powered through a lot of this. It, it wasn't that big of a deal. To do it by hand would have been ridiculous. So, oh, I'm collecting stone. I don't want to be collecting stone. Let's go into terrain removal. Oh, that's right. You gotta reset it every time you log in and log out. Okay. So I, I don't need the stone. I've got uh, more stone than I can ever possibly use in the HV from digging out this tunnel. Like, no shit, it almost filled both the harvest boxes full of stone. It was like, oh, geez. So I started cranking on uh, cement blocks. Just dug out here. Just push back so that I can see where I'm connecting to. some blocks down here so go like this and we'll just come on pull that over as far as that'll go come on right there okay Get these in. Okay. So now I can actually fire that straight up. Okay, so how wide do we want to make this? I don't think I want to go too much wider than what the door is for columns. So maybe I should put those in right now, the columns. Yeah, okay. So how far do I wanna do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I wanna do it 10? Let's take a look. Is that where I want to be? 10? That gives 9 in between though, right? That's kind of a funky number. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to work. I think I might have to go with a gap of 10. Whoops. That was not the right button. Let's go no, that, that's not right either. There we go. And we'll take that block, and so that'll be in that one. Put that there. So that should be 10. Come on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So let's do that. Because that'll give me an even number to work with between 
the pillars. I think I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That kind of jumped there, didn't it? Video jumped a little bit. Let's just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, that was that was stupid. I don't want to do it on ten. I want to do it on eleven. Try this again. So that'll be that one right beside it. Okay, can we do this correctly this time? So on 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking that should be good. That looks like it has enough space in between for any vehicle I'm ever going to bring in here. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's go with that. So, on 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh! 11 and now that I've got that one place yep that's on the same one now I can just I don't have to count because I know how tedious it is listening to me count I find it tedious myself so we can just place it on the blocks that line up now Okay. Whoa! Lost contact with my drone and jump! Uh, okay. So how, what is it? Minus three out. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's oxygenated out. You know what? I don't, I don't necessarily need to be in my ship. So this is going to be quite the lofty basement. Yeah, this is, this is, this is what I want. This is what I want. Something nice and big. Uh, we got to go way more over though, I'm thinking. So let's, let's go over here. And now should I do that with the HV? No, I don't think it's enough to warrant with the HV. It's only going to be a few more blocks, right? Okay. Let's just get the drone out. Now oh, there's a block already down there, so let's... I also don't want to dig unnecessarily. Now, I think I want to do it this high. I mean, I know I could, I could do it across. Hmm. No, actually I do want to do it this high because I think I want to do some wood block texturing. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's get rid of this really quick. Okay. It's coming together in my head right now. So I want it to look somewhat contemporary with a little bit of a modern twist, obviously. You know, hangar doors is going to, and electronics are going to kind of get rid of the uh, turn of the century or turn of the millennia look of last millennia or the millennia before even. Okay. Okay, that should be high enough. Let's continue to block this in. 
Okay, so we need to dig this out. So the train removal feature of the uh, TT drill is pretty good. I mean, you can see it's it's pretty quick. I mean, it's not oh, reload. Auto reload is nice now too. Okay, so let's just get this all dug out so I can see the corners and get the foundation all built. And once I get all the floor down. Now, because this is going to be a garage, I'm not going to do the wood floor in here. I think I'm going to stick to wood just internally. Um, but structural stuff, I'm probably still going to go with the concrete and then like cover it with wood and hide it with the wood. Go with uh, you know thin wind, wood paneling or something. So we'll, we'll take a look to see what that's going to come out like. I have, a, I have a feeling um, I can get it to look pretty close to, to what I'm hoping to achieve. And I'm, my object, that what I'm, what I'm really trying to get to is basically like a contemporary castle with a little bit of a modern twist. So a little bit of modern styling, but with contemporary features to it and, and design. But it'll still have all the, the modern amenities. in whoa no come on let's go over here stop having a little tantrum oh come on I want you to go down there we go there we go that's what I wanted and mr. block of course okay so is that how wide going to be going here. Let's take a look. Let's get these blocks up here. Um, obviously another one. Come on. So with the with the pillar there I mean Basically, there's a, these are going to be kind of parking stalls, I guess. Um, yeah, so we, we need it a little deeper. Yeah, we're going to need it deeper. Okay. So let's dig this out. And yes, I might have 10 huge vehicles. Don't judge me. This is my palace castle. I want my uh, my six Porsches and, uh, and a couple of uh, um, giant SUVs. Not to mention a limo and a personal jet or helicopter on the roof. Yeah. this out here. You can see how much rock we've actually moved out of here. It's quite a staggering amount already. And we still got quite a bit to go to actually completely dig this out. 
to the right height and get all that. So it's still, I mean, that's what I was saying. I'm not going to, I'm not going to complete this, this episode, but I just wanted to basically do a, an episode of just building and sh show you guys. Cause I know I didn't do very many building at all, really. So I, I haven't shown really much of the game in the way of the, the crafting and constructing aspect of it. And I thought this would be a good project to kind of showcase the building on, on something really spectacular in size and, and really what the full capabilities of the game is, is like. So hopefully I can get this done before 7 goes public because once 7 goes public, I'll probably have to wipe. And it, well, at least, at least if I get the the garage built <laughs> and some storage and stuff so that I can go uh, adventuring and, and have a place to store all my loot and, you know, crash after adventuring. Okay, so... Wider here. This is deeper. This is closer to what I'm going to want. So how many blocks? So that was 10. Do I want a 10 by 10? 10 by 10. Because it looks like... What do we got here? How big is this thing? This takes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh yeah, no problem. So let's do 10 by 10. It'll be plenty of room. Plenty and plenty of room. I don't even need to do 10 by 10 really. Let's do one, two, three. Oh wait, one of those is the pillar in depth, right? Yes. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we need more than that. That's probably eight. Eight. <clears throat> Eight is enough, I would think. God, I just had TV show deja vu. I better not get that theme song stuck in my head. Oh my god. Okay. Focus. Is that going to be wide enough now? That looks like it's going to work. So let's take this out a bit. Get this all revealed. I want to be able to see what I'm connecting up to to make sure that I can create a seal. I don't care if I have air gaps underneath to tell you the truth. Nobody's going to see it and it's all going to be, it's all going to be stu structurally uh, sound anyway. So I don't really care. Okay. So it looks like I went nine out here. So, okay. Let's do the nine. That's that cube. So to there. So that is the corner. I'm thinking, come on. So let's bring that up. Okay. 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 So I got to do the rest of that. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. A lot of work this up right up to the sky might as well do that with all of them right now because it's those are going all the way to the ceiling
Come on. Get all these in. I can always, if I went too high, I can knock them down. Or they'll just be in the dirt above. This doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. We've got a door in. We've got some pillars in. It's definitely looking chamberish. Um, so, let's get some more blocks in. See, I can see if we can clean up this corner a bit. Now, can I? What happens if I hit T? Nothing. What about? Hmm, it's a little bright. Okay, the um, losing. Oof. There we go. The losing contact with my drone was driving me nuts. So let's move over here. And we'll drone it up. I always hit my uh, inventory tab really quick, just and tab tab in and out with tab because uh, I want to see what the temperature is, what I'm currently at, what my um, what my personal temperature is. Make sure that I can see the radar and all that. It's just something I've started doing as a habit all the time when I pull my drone out. Let's get this filled in a bit. Oops, is that too much? No, because that's got to come over quite a bit. Okay, so that's got to go over. So let's go like this. And can we, no, can we go like this? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Getting there. Now I'm not going to be leaving these concrete. So what I was thinking, what do I have on me? I don't have them on me, huh? but they're in my, let's go back over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I think they're in here. Yeah. So a lot on me right now to some. Now, what I was thinking, oh, it's really hard to see, isn't it? Hmm. There we go. This one's better. So, what I'm thinking of doing is something like... Uh, I wonder if I could do like a cylinder up. Oh, no, that would look probably stupid. Let's let's do the 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 half or the thin wall. Oops. And that's not the right cubes. So let's select the right cubes. And do the thin wall. And then we go up like that. And then up like that. And then the corner piece will be these beams. They're actually just corner pieces if you look at them. They're just a corner piece. So and then I can go up like that. To fill that in and then it looks like a wood beam yeah I like it because it's also that the wood the wood will provide structural integrity too so that's my thought and then I'll kind of flare it out at the top 
and go with like full wood beams across. So, and then the ceiling all wood. Um, so just the exterior walls and floor are gonna be concrete and then the interior walls any structural walls are going to be concrete, I guess, but they'll, they'll be hidden by wood. And then I'll have a lot of wood beams. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have to bring, I'll, I'll have to check out some paint and texturing that we can do with the wood. Uh, I've never actually worked with wood before, so this is going to be a new experience. But it looks, I, I really like the look of that. It's going to, I think this is going to work out really well without it making it look too blocky, I think. I could even, hmm, what do we got? Can I make a rounded, isn't there a way to make a, yeah. So well, that's a full cylinder, but we could wrap it around. Hmm. I don't know. Then it'll have flat spots and be really huge pillars. Then nah, nah. What about what about a different type of? I'm thinking something maybe like this. Huh? What do you think? Uh, I think I like the solid wood look of this right there. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go with that and we'll We'll see if I, I could probably get this a darker brown. Um, so I'm going to go get some tools to color this up, I think. Um, hell, I could probably make them right now in my... Uh, can I actually make... Yeah, a texture and color tool. Hell, why not? Oh, uh, that means stopping production of all this concrete. So let's do that. Oops. It's made a whole bunch now. One, two, three, four, five, six and a bit. So that's good. Okay, so now make that, make that. It's kind of handy being in a vessel with a constructor too that you can do this sort of stuff on the fly. Uh, that's why I put I put um, constructors in every single vehicle, pretty much. Even my cheapest, cheapest ones, I put a constructor in. It's just, it just makes life easier. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. And then, so the, the, the concrete. I think it needs to be some sort of cobblestone or stone look to it. Let's see. Let's grab these tools here. So let's do our texture tool six. Okay, so five, six. And we can also check out different some colors. So let's go over here and we'll do some contrast. Um, so something like that or that, and then I'm thinking that for the roof. Oh, wait, it's going to be a wood roof. I'll, I'll see what sort of wood textures we can do, but so that. That might work good for the walls, you know? That might work really good for the walls. So, there, we'll 
over where there's some light. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. Okay, so what about what about a cobblestone look then? I mean, that kind of is a cobblestone look. This is more of a, do we want brick? It's kind of cobblestone-y look. That's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad with the with the wood. It kind of fits, right? Huh? Okay, let's check something else out. What about this? Ooh, that's very cobblestoney. Oh, actually, I kind of like that better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean that. That's not bad. And then we go with that on the walls. So this will be like this. get this in here a bit so I can do some texture comparison. I mean, I like it. I like it. Let's, um, yeah, let's texture this up more. Get this wall in. Get the texture on it here. Okay. Okay, so Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That's a lot more not concrete look. That's a lot more stone and fitted fitted stone, right? And and cobblestone. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking that's looking really good. And then I was thinking like where the beams tie together. So where the beams tie together, maybe run run wood beams across the, the ceiling and down with some with some trusses, so some truss work beams made out of wood. Or at least yeah, I think the cross members we can do wood and the the up and down ones will will do a concrete core on. Yeah, I think this is going to look really good. So that'll be the exterior castle wall texture. That'll be the ground, the floor, the, uh, the, the, anything that vehicles are driving on pretty much. And then the interior floors are all going to be wood, just solid wood blocks. Um, let's check out some of the texture we can do on the wood. So what do we got here? We've got some darker. What else they got? Oh, that's really weird. Really? Why would you? Oof. It glows, it's too bright. Um, that's weird. Okay, it's wood. It's supposed to be wood. That, that's just wrong. I don't like it. Well, this. It's going the wrong way. Can you just keep clicking to straighten out? You got to flip the block. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe.
I do like the darker wood, but I like it so... Okay, let's... Which one's the original? Is this the original? Yeah, okay. So let's go back to the original and just try some color. So what can we do with color? I'm thinking of brown. So, ooh. Okay, well, it's a real dark brown. It's, actually, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It'll really contrast well with the with the uh, stonework, um, with the white kind of stonework there. Kind of, yeah. Let's try a lighter brown. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm actually kind of liking that. That's it's more like a milk chocolate. So the native texture with this color of brown. Yeah, look at that. It goes with this much better. Let's uh let's try this over here. We'll run a little side piece up like I was thinking. So let's equip some blocks here. Do a wall, thin wall. So yeah, so I'm I'm thinking of doing these thin wood runners up as accents. And then oh yeah, look at that. That's that's pretty good right there, that color, but let's Let's try this. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think that I think we've got a winner here. Okay, I, th I think that's what we're gonna go with this color scheme, texture scheme. Um, That's kind of what I had envisioned. So it looks it looks like that's going to work. Let's see if there's any coloring we can do to. Can we make this more white? No, it's currently already white. What does gray look like? Nothing. Oh, maybe this might be one of those textures that you can't actually paint. Yeah, black does nothing too. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those. Uh, that's all the texture that's the only color it can be so okay uh, I'm, o I'm okay with that color I actually really like that I like the look of this I like the look of this and then this needs to be such a non intrusive color how about a gray That's not bad. It's a little bright with lights on it, but I'll just open it. Okay, so I think we've got the color scheme worked out. We've got the size worked out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this in. It's basically just gonna be a box. My garage is gonna be just a box, but it's gonna, it's gonna start the the base to be semi-functional once I get this all sealed in. See, I really like the look of that. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah, that's, so that's the, the, the 
look and theme I'm going with. Okay. Well, guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe. We will uh, catch up with you again. Uh, I will. I will build a whole bunch of uh, walls. Get all this. Uh, basically, I'll get this all sealed in, and I think I'll get it done too, just as the garage, and um, maybe get some cargo boxes in and. And, but I won't do the general, I'll, I'll dig out the generator room and maybe we'll work on the generator room on the next episode. But I think I need to get this done off camera just to get it because it's going to take way too long to build this thing if, I, if, I, if I'm on camera the whole time. So I'll just give you a little tidbits of it as I go. Uh, but I really like how that's looking right there with this color scheme and how that the texturing on the, on the concrete. Um, yeah, this is this is going to look awesome. Okay, guys. I can't wait for the next episode and show you what I've done. But uh, until then, I will see you guys later.